What's going on, fellas? It's Steeler here back again. Welcome to my Project Cars review comparison. The comparison designed to do one thing, answer the question, what's better, Forza Motorsport 5 or Project Cars, the highly anticipated sim racer. Uh, and this thing will cover all of that. Tire modeling, physics, tracks, weather, and more. Deep in mind, I'm an experienced sim racer, and I'm going to tell you everything a sim racer wants to know about Project Cars. Now let's kick it off with the basics, guys. The track list. The track list in Project Cars is huge. As of early 2015, this game shits on every other next-gen sim racer out there in regards to the track list. Now it's obvious that not all the tracks are laser scanned, but it's still nice to see them on next-gen hardware nonetheless. Now keep in mind, there are not 100 different tracks in this game. They were counting different locations and variants, but the track list in Project Cars is simply massive. Now anytime you're hosting an online event, you'll have the ability to change the weather dynamically. You can control the different phases of weather, as well as how quickly the weather speeds up or progresses throughout the race. It's very interesting and not found on any other console sim racer at the moment. Now the presentation of Project Cars is pretty good. Uh, you know, everything from the mid-race statistics popping up on your screen, to the menu music, to the crew chief, the dynamic weather that may change mid-race, to the time of day, the amount of cars on track at once, as well as qualifying and practice laps, everything about Project Cars oozes sim racing, except for one major aspect, and that may be the most important aspect of the game, and I'll get to that here in a second. But in regards to the presentation of Project Cars, this game oozes sim racer. It's definitely different from everything else I played on a console. Now we can all hear the sounds that this car is making right now. The sound is pretty phenomenal in this game. But let's get to the good stuff, the important stuff. How does the game feel? How do the physics feel? Uh, well, in my opinion, everything under GT3, that being GT4 and below, has an almost unacceptable handling model. I don't know what they've done to those cars down in the lower classes, but the handling is just way off. Unacceptable, in my opinion, and I will not race down there. I highly recommend you start out at GT3 or above. You get a bit more of an accurate representation of what this game feels like. Uh, and for those of you that have been keeping up with Slightly Mad Studios, you know that these guys uh, were responsible for Shift 2 Unleashed. And I guess you could call this game a spiritual successor, if you will, because it shares the same handling model, in my opinion. Feels very similar with a few tweaks here and there. And like I said, start out at GT3 or above to get the most out of that. Now, when it comes to weather, uh, the game gets a bit more interesting because this is something I'm not used to seeing in a console sim racer and it's a lot of fun. That combined with dynamic day-night cycles, dynamic weather, you know when, when it starts raining you have to push down on the d-pad to start your windscreen wipers to get the rain off your car so you can see uh, and when it goes to nighttime racing you have to get up on the d-pad to activate your headlights. So it really leaves a lot of it up to you uh, and it's pretty awesome. I've never had to do this in a console sim racer before and it's a breath of fresh air along with these tracks but uh, overall without the help of rumble triggers uh, the handling model definitely suffers I don't get that sensation of grip through my fingertips like I do with Forza Motorsport and the end result uh, is a game that feels good but very very unrealistically twitchy as well as being a bit floaty the car never feels quite connected to the pavement and that's not a good thing so in my opinion Forza Motorsport 5's physics and tire modeling takes a dump and I mean a dump all over this game now that doesn't mean this game isn't awesome uh, or fun but that's just how I feel as a sim racer if you haven't tried Forza Motorsport 5 you have to play it to feel it nothing else comes close that I've experienced in sim racers in general not even limited to just console now as I've stated before GT4 and below have an unacceptable handling model and here's a quick example now these GT4 cars handle like they weigh about eight pounds they transition unrealistically quick uh, and once you start in apex the car it's very hard to get the car to come out of that hooking motion of an apex uh, you know right there I hit the wall going left I was turning right that whole time but the car would not change direction right here I hit the wall on the right I'm turning left right now my stick was left that whole time I hit that wall not even the driver in the cockpit showed the animation of me turning the stick left turning the wheel left I don't know what's going on right here but take my word for it there is something fundamentally wrong with the handle model in GT4 and below if you stick to GT3 or above you may get your money's worth out of this game, but if you start out below GT3, 
most of you will probably say fuck this game in the first 15 minutes i've already had a couple friends message me about that uh but uh, like i said aside from this one massive problem Project Cars has a lot of potential. I can only imagine this game with Forza Motorsport 5's handling model. Jesus Christ, it will be a fucking monster of a game. But ultimately, guys, if you were on the fence and you're a Forza fan and you just wanted to know the answer to that magic question, could Project Cars be better than Forza Motorsport 5? Well, I'm going to have to agree with most websites, most outlets out there. Forza 5 has a major edge on the physics tire modeling side of things. But Project Cars has so many features Forza 5 doesn't have. If you're a big fan of pack racers, Project Cars is where it's at. Over 40 cars on the track at once, depending on the size of the track. If you love dynamic time of day racing, Project Cars is your game. If you love random dynamic weather racing, Project Cars is, you guessed it, once again, your game. If you're a fan of simulation racing games with an emphasis on pit stops, practice laps, and qualifiers, this is literally the only player in town, and it is a quality racing game, provided you stick to GT3 or above. Now, I'm sure there's some variables when it comes to the handling on some of the lower class cars, but in my experience, GT3 is where it's at. So, Forza 5, Project Cars, both good games with good attributes, and that's kind of the beauty of the Xbox One right now. You've got Project Cars and you've got the Forza Motorsport series on one console, so it's win-win. But let me know if you guys have tried this game. Are you looking forward to Forza Motorsport 6? My name's Dealer. Appreciate you sticking around for this long-ass review. Subscribe for new videos, and I'm out, fellas.